All right, y'all. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we come to you with humbled hearts. Lord, we give you all the praise, honor, and glory for who you are. We just want to thank you, Father God, for, for you being omnipotent, omnipresent, all-knowing, Father God. We just want to thank you that overall you are the judge, Father God, of everybody and all things, Lord God. We want to thank you for whatever it is that you allow for, to give us the grace to uh, accept it and to walk in grace with it, Father God. We want to pray in particular for our country, Lord God. This ain't about Republican or Democratic, red or blue, Trump or Kamala or Biden. It's not about none of that, Lord God. It's about you, and it's about your love for us, Father God. And we just want to thank you in advance for your protection, for whatever it is that the enemy is working on, um, trying to come against us or things that can harm that are possible to harm us, Lord God. We thank you right now for rebuking and binding it up right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you for that blood of Jesus that's poured all over this nation, Father God, for you are the leader of this nation, Father God. And just like you said in your word, Father God, we, we're going to pray the, uh, the Lord's prayer over this country. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, Father God, on earth as it is in heaven, Lord God. Thank you right now for protection, Lord God. We thank you right now for giving everybody the wisdom and the knowledge and the understanding of who to vote for or what, to, however the voting goes, Father God. We just pray that everybody goes and exercise their right, Father God. And I pray that you touch all of our hearts and lead us towards who we need to vote, Father God, and who we need to vote for, Lord God. And it's nothing that we even need to share. It's not about debating. It's not about fighting. And it's not about coming against each other, Father God. We should all be trying to come together as one because at the end of the day, we are all in trouble if it's left up to this world. So that's why we seek you for guidance. We seek you for counseling. We seek you for protection and wisdom and knowledge and understanding, Lord God, because we know that you are, you make all things good, Father God, and all things work together for the good of those who love you, Lord God. So no matter the outcome of an election or anything that may go on, we want to thank you in advance for it, Father God. And when it comes down to those, those issues, Father God, on the red side, Father God, for Israel and abortion, Father God, as Christians, Lord, I just pray that you touch us all, all of our hearts, Lord God, to help us, those of us who are confused on who it is that we need to vote for. We pray that you help show us who we need to vote for, Lord God. Show us who it is that we need to vote for, if it's Christian issues or whatever. And Father God, help us to understand your ways and your thoughts on all of these issues so that we can be in line with you and with your will. And for it all, Lord God, we'll be careful to give you all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory. Thank you in advance for allowing us to sleep in peace tonight, Father God, and have blessed, prosperous weeks as we go about our day today and all the rest of this week, whatever it is that we do, work, school, or whatever, Father God. Thank you for divine protection and the blood of Jesus protecting us from seen and unseen danger, Father God. And we just thank you for unity and bringing us all together and um, and destroying Satan and all the plans that the wicked plans that he has to divide us, Father God, as a nation, Father God, we want to thank you for unity, bringing us together under love. At the end of the day, up at the end of the day, we all need love, agape love, a God kind of like love, the kind of love that you have for us. Lord, give us the strength and the wisdom and the courage to love one another in that way, Lord God. For it all, we'll be careful to give you all the praise, honor, and glory for it. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, everybody. I love y'all with the love of the Lord. Sorry we had that tough conversation. It's always hard for me because, like I said, this is the first time ever I had to think about who it is that I needed to vote for and to make sure that I was making the right decision as a Christian, as from my heart, as a believer, and just as a, a, um, a U.S. citizen. So I pray that y'all see God so we can all make the right decision. <laughs>